Hi, I am Patrick van der Meer, Visual Coach, and this is a uh, little video about sharing your code with somebody else so you can collaborate. Actually, this is just like uh, known uh, Google stuff, uh, uh, document sharing and working in one document and seeing exactly where the cursor is of the other and what he's doing. This is called Visual Studio Live Share, and of course this works with two things, Visual Studio 2017, 15.6, that's the version, you need the latest version, and the Visual Studio code um, uh, application. All right, so in this demonstration, I'll just use Visual Studio uh, 2017, and let's go to a quick start to see what you need to do. All right, so here's the quick start, and actually, this is only the information that you need. The version number of Visual Studio, you have got it installed. You need these components to be um, present, and then you can just start up Visual Studio and download the uh, file extension. So let's do that. Actually, um, we'll do a new application. Yes, new application. Let's say you're completely starting from scratch. You have no clue what to do, so you need help, you need a friend, you need a, a coach, you need a whatever, an experienced uh, programmer, uh, which is uh, sitting next to you, but then uh, next to you in the same office, uh, but then in, in Japan instead of uh, the Netherlands or America. And therefore you install this extension. You go online, and you go tools, and then of course extension updates and online, and you type in share. That's the third step that we saw in the web page just uh, presented. And you install this extension, VS uh, Live Share Preview. It's out uh, late April 2018. So if you are seeing this video a couple of months later, hey, you might not have the preview, but the real version. And when it's installed, you'll be presented in your application, Visual Studio, with this new share button. All right, so let's go and use this. So what will happen if you press the share? It will say, well, you know, I need access to your firewall. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's an easy one. That's over here, just click OK, and that's OK. Then um, it needs a little processing time, but then it copies a link to your clipboard. And you can see that here in the top bar, the yellow bar, uh, you can copy it again if you like. Uh, and now you need to do something with that link. So you need to give that link to to the person that you want to collaborate with. So get um, uh, Skype running, uh, paste it in the chat box, and he can click that link or use uh, Amazon or send an email. Any way you pass a link on, you can even just telephone him and, and spell it out what he, what he needs to put into his browser. So let's go to a browser again. And let's see what happens when he pastes this link into the browser. It will bring him to a website for sharing. And actually, we get a pop-up that says, hey, listen, did you actually mean to switch to a different app? And yes, Visual Studio 2017 will do nicely. Click OK. And a second, in this case, because I'm on the same machine, a second version, a uh, second instance of Visual Studio will pop up and load all the files that I need. Actually, it will load exactly the files that I'm showing in the other, in the other uh, uh, machine. So let's put this on the right side, this on the left side, and now we are actually, he's still joining, it says over here, joining it probably means that he's still copying files up and down. So if you've got a slow connection, it's probably gonna take ages. But hey, listen, since I'm on the same machine, uh, there's mm, only cross to, to Microsoft and I'm back, so. All right, so if I open a file on the original machine, let's say we'll open the main page CS, XAML CS, then it is supposed to open on the other side as well. Actually, there it is. And you can exactly see where the cursor is in this machine and follow it on this machine. And vice versa, if I'm blocking some code over here on the right side, you can see that on the left side as well, you can see who is doing that. So if you've got two different persons collaborating, instead of me um, on the same machine, two times the same account, uh, it will actually show who is controlling the cursor or actually where his cursor is in the document. And mine could be somewhere else. So we could work on the same document at the same time, or we could work on separate files, all is fine. So let's do a little coding. 
let's say bool uh, is initi initialized is false. So you'll say, hey, listen, I know what to do with that. That, that I, that's just some code idea I, I, I know what to do. So we need a method where this initializing can change, okay? So let's call that uh, initialize. All right, and the other guy goes, well, hey, but we don't have that, okay? So let's resolve that, okay? Mm, this is just an example of generating all this. So this goes on and on, so you can just swap working the, the who's working on what, and this is going to be just awesome. So one thing I found which was actually not that good or not good enough for me is when you work in XAML. So because on the second machine, if I open the same file, so it actually it's not opened automatically. That's, that's the first thing I'm, I'm complaining about. Secondly is that um, I've got no preview window on the second machine, on the sharing machine. I only have that on this one. Could be because I'm all on one, on one machine, but I think this is by design um, for some reason. And uh, hopefully when we're out of preview, that will work as well. So um, let's see what happens if you do something. Let's say we change this color, okay? So the other party now is not able to see what color it is. So if I if I type, you can see the color red, but you cannot see actually the changes to the designer. Uh, when I do it on this side, and I use here a yellow, it works directly from scratch. But, alas, I've got no preview. But still, extremely awesome. I want to try this with some friends. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Thanks for watching, and have fun.